Hey boys, welcome back to some more Canberra Raiders 2019 career, and uh, we've moved up the ladder. We have won three games back to back to back, so we're, we're starting to we're starting to get up there. We're now taking on the Broncos, my team, the Bronx, in uh, round five of the season. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a little a little uh, voice in the back of my head telling me to not play as well against the Broncos, but I just never I never seem to play that well against uh against our boys here um but we'll look at their team it is fairly it's fairly different than what it is in real life um and that that is annoying because cody nicarima is like the main one there because he will be in the warriors and the broncos i don't know you guys probably know um i might try it anyway but if you because i've started the career mode if i delete if i delete nicarima from the Broncos team, he'll still, he'll still be in the career mode team, will he? Or will it update on the fly? I sort of feel like it wouldn't update, but I could be wrong. Like if I, if I go to the 2019 Broncos team that I've got in this career mode and I delete Nicarima from the roster, will it delete him from the career mode? Um, I don't know. Let me know. If you, if you know, Usually, I'm the one answering the questions around here, so <laughs> if any of you guys can help me out with that one, um, just for my sake, like if just so I know if I should even bother mucking around with it or not, because um, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather not have a duplicate of a player like a top player like that, because um, it's pretty much the only the only one I can think of uh, with uh, with the new teams. But uh, regardless, we're gonna continue here. A few minutes gone. It's a Pretty well placed kick. It's a little deep. Darius Boyd giving chase there, but uh, Nicole Klockstad a little bit, a little bit too good for old old Darius under the high ball. As uh, the Broncos are going to get another chance here, they've definitely uh, definitely been on the 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 favourable end of the the possession and the territory so far. But we've we've been pretty solid, been pretty rock solid in our defence, and it's been a I mean, it's been a good turning point. Another high kick. It's going to be Nick Kotrick this time getting out underneath it. Uh, it's been a really good turning point from that that first game where we got absolutely dismantled from uh, by the the rabbits. As uh, <laughs> like, who was that? I think it was it was Boyd. He was straight through. He would have scored, but unselfishly, he threw the pass back. I I don't know how they didn't score. That we had they had a shot on the left hand side. Um, we made a poor read in the fence. As another high kick goes up. Jordan Rabanu is going to get outlet by James Roberts. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? The one guy I'd probably expect to be the best in the air. Um, out of Klockstad and Kotrick and Rapan. I mean, Kotrick's obviously very good, but I, I don't know. You probably... Eh, I mean, it's touch and go, but I'd probably say Rapana is probably the best out of those three. Although they're all they're all very good, so it's a little. I mean, three <laughs> third times the charm, I guess. As a good little play there, but this time the the Bronco able to read us uh, in attack pretty well. As uh, kind of spread it out to the right here, Corey Horsburgh onto uh, the back line. Nice little offload there, but one too many passes. Just should have taken it under the arm with uh, Leilua, and that's. Uh, I mean, it's something that I still have to get in the mindset of like when I've got. Leilua, I should probably just try to take the line on a little bit more. I, I always try to link up with this the winger, but when you got a when you got a big boy like Leilua with the strength and the footwork, just 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 run it with him occasionally. Like don't even worry about the two on one. Just just pin the ears back and try to bust through. Um, it'd probably be a pretty good idea. Is nice little. Oh, I just saw it opening up the offload, and then oh my goodness the. Again, just trying a little bit too much. Just uh, our Huber is coming back to bite us right there. Is uh, a little late offload there from Lodge onto Patrick Mogo, Mago, and uh, the high shot from Elliot Whitehead, which is not good. It's going to give the Broncos a two, two free points in front. Alex Glenn doing the goal kicking. It's a little bit strange, but Elliot Whitehead probably going to be, uh, you know, whenever there's a high shot, they always, I don't know, I very rarely get off the zero weeks. It's usually, it's usually always at least one week. So, and then on the back of that, it's going to be Jack Bird to score a try. So this, we haven't, we haven't seen the ball in the Broncos 20 meter line this whole game. It's just been all the Bronx. Um, 
And it, you know, the the worst part is it's it's our own fault. We've we've had a couple of chances around the middle of the field, but we just keep turning the ball over with a silly offload. And uh, yeah, it's just been a, it's been a bit of a shocker. As uh, Nick Cotter gets a nice little pass back to Leilua. Leilua, he's uh, pinning the ears back again here. The number ten, not quite going to get to him. Trying to link up here, beautiful ball onto Johnny Bateman backing up, and he's going to go in to score a much needed try. Set up by Nick Kotrick and uh, Leilua doing the bulk of the work there with John Bateman and uh, a couple other players in the, in the vicinity to take advantage of that uh, that slick play. So, so, I mean, we needed it. We needed it. We couldn't <laughs> we couldn't get possession down the 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 red zone for the for the Bronx. So we needed to get something a little bit freakish like that from a kick or a, or a line break and. That's uh, that's what we got is uh, Jared Croak finds himself in the middle of the field. So I decided to put in a kick with him because, I mean, you know, goal kicks. I'm sure he's able to kick pretty well. As, uh, it was a booming kick and a great chase there. Nickel clocks are down there. Couldn't quite get the 40-20, but that is a fantastic kick. Putting the pressure on now with our defense as uh, Jermaine Asako there gets out of the... Uh, the the 10 meter line but uh great great set in defense as uh jack wine throws a dummy goes straight through tries to get it on to rapina just taken there in the tackle uh man they were just a little bit outside backs just were a little bit behind and then uh, oh my goodness just breaking down once again i tried the little tried a little play around the ruck there and just just squandered squandered another golden opportunity so you know th this game we've <laughs> I mean, it's not as though we've, we've, you know, lost it completely. We haven't really been that good at all um, to win it. But any chance we have had, we've just shot ourselves in the foot with just silly, silly offloads and and uh, and errors. So, you know, not much we can do about that um, other than play better. That That's what we can do about it. <laughs> A couple of minutes to go. I mean, if we score in the next couple of plays, there's a there's a slim chance as uh, Luke Bateman now gets through a couple of tacklers, gets on to Papali, back to Josh Hodgson, pinning the ears back, go son, gets the pass. I was trying to get it out wide, but it went to bloody Aiden Caesar. Oh, if we got it out to one of the, either Leilua or Kotrick out there, could have been a, could have been a nice try, but that is going to be all she wrote. We lose a, uh, a disappointing loss. It does break our win streak, but, you know, it was bound to happen. We were, we were sort of up and down a little bit, and uh, this game sort of, yeah, a bit of, bit of a shocker. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.